good morning children how are you yes i am fine so now we are just study about the human eye and the colorful world we have started we are just uh, discussing this topic in the classrooms also i we have read so today we will discuss something about the prism okay what is prism it is given here what is prism here so it is a transparent optical element with flat polished surface that refract light means prism means refraction of light it is associated with the bending of light in this it is saying that at least one surface must be angled element okay when i will show the figure of that uh, prism we'll see where is the angle of the prism okay <coughs> that traditional geometrical yes shape of an optical prism is that of triangular prism yes we have seen this type of prism only we have seen huh? this this type of prism that is the triangular prism only okay so this we have to read about the prism there okay and it is also saying that it can be made from any material that is transparent to the wavelength for which they are designed okay and its typical material includes glass plastic or fluoride okay we have seen glass type of prism plastic we have never seen in the lab also we are having glass prism only okay so now that here is that prism there okay and this is called here this is called angle of prism okay this triangular region is the region where this refraction takes place okay it is that part wait a minute it is that part okay so this is called and in this only region triangular region the refraction takes place okay now then what is the refraction what refraction it takes place in the prism that we have to read here so what is that see here it is saying that that the light ray falls on one side of the prism it get diffracted means bending refraction we have read only bending of light and it is because the ray has moved from and optically rare medium that is from air it is going into the glass that is a denser medium that is why the refraction takes place okay when this ray reach in the other part it means from here it will enter where the white light is written and it will come out from this part okay where that so many colors are there so it gets refracted okay it will bend away from the normal because it is going in the red medium okay now what is that we'll try to understand this with the help of a figure okay this is the refraction of the glass prism okay this is the refraction of the glass prism here and see what it is saying that one more thing it is different from the glass slab refraction in the glass slab the emergent ray and the original ray used to become parallel but in this glass prism they will not be parallel see here this is the original ray this is the emergent ray are they parallel no they are not parallel okay so this happens in the case of glass prism now see many terms you are able to see here incident ray which is strike the glass prism first emergent ray the last ray which is coming out from the prism in between we have refracted ray when the light enters in the glass prism that is called the refracted ray and in that many terms are also there see i is here e is here one d is here and r is also here so many things are there we are just going to explain what is that see one time just see this i is angle of incidence r is angle of refraction e is angle of emergence angle a is the angle of the prism that i have explained only angle d is the angle of deviation where is angle d first of all where is the angle of deviation so here is this angle of deviation this angle d 
what is the angle of incidence so this is angle of incidence with angle of emergent this is angle of emergent what is the angle of refraction so here is that angle of refraction and this i have already explained that angle of prism so these angles are very important you have to just recall these things okay then this is here angle of deviation definition okay what is that it is saying that if incident rays extended forward and emergent rays extended backward they will meet at a point and it is exactly happening here also see this emergent ray wait this emergent ray here is going outside this is the original ray, incident ray going here in this direction this emergent ray will be produced backward so it will meet with the incident ray and that angle is called angular deviation clear understand these all things very nicely there okay now this is the dispersion of white light white light is mainly made of seven colors you all are very much aware of these things you are knowing these things this is the shape of prism okay here this is the prism here this is the angle of the prism light ray enter here when it will strike on this wall and it will come out of the air it will form these it will split into these colors and this is called spectrum this is called spectrum this band is called spectrum and this process is called dispersion of white light means splitting of white light into its seven color is called dispersion understand and where it is used so it is used in the formation of rainbow what is rainbow this is rainbow okay see this is rainbow so how it is formed so a rainbow is caused by sunlight and atmospheric conditions that is this water droplets are hanging in that atmosphere they act as a prism and when the white light wait wait a minute and when the white light is incident on those water droplets so what happens that disperses the light and it breaks it splits into seven colors and those seven colors forms a very beautiful rainbow okay and this is exactly is written also here the light reflects off the inside of the droplet separating into its component wavelength or colors and when light exits the droplet it makes a rainbow and this process i have explained with the help of figure here in this slide this is the white light is coming here see here this white light is coming here these are this one is the droplets there see written also water droplets there when it enters it gets refracted that means it is working like a prism but it doesn't go here only outside it again reflect back inside only and this process is called total internal reflection light ray reflects back inside the droplet and when it exists out it has seven colors which looks like this so this is because the water droplets are working as a prism they disperse the light white light into seven colors and that is why the rainbow is formed so in a rainbow we have see what uh, natural phenomenon number one refraction number two internal total internal reflection and then these seven colors it is uh, dispersing so dispersion so these three phenomenon makes a rainbow and this is what we had to understand only we have un understood also now next class we'll learn something new till then all of you take care thank you class thank you very much